So, last part, or last time I recorded... Alright, let me back up. Just a couple days ago, I recorded three parts in Dragon Quest VIII. Uh, it was actually one, one and a half hour part that I was going to split into two, and then I recorded after that. So, I hadn't been keeping backup saves, but for some reason I just decided to um, after this one. Sure enough, um, this is the time when it goes wrong, so... The hour and a half part came out really choppy. Like the video looked wrong. The um, the yeah. So the video looked wrong. The audio wasn't great. Not super happy about that. But um, <sighs> yeah. Just I, I've got nothing. Um, so because so this is the way this is gonna work. The part I recorded after this part is fine. Uh, it came out you know working and everything. So this is not a real, how do I put it, this is not part of the canon, as in, when I'm done with this part, uh, I'm not going to care about this save anymore, so I'm not really looking to buy extra stuff or anything like that, it's like, I've already done that, so, if there's slight gaps in, like, if I mysteriously have new weapons or something, I just, I can't remember everything I did in the, that hour and a half long span, so, this is the best I have to offer, <laughs> um, I do know one thing, uh, there's a mini metal in here somewhere, just in case that matters to someone. Um, I will try and find that again. I believe it's in a cupboard somewhere, not in this place. I think it was down. Um, or out. Weird. Didn't think I'd be able to get here. I talked about how I really like these, uh, the colors and stuff and how, like, <clears throat> the design and everything. I, it sucks because, like, I... <laughs> I thought it was good content, and um, I just lost it, basically. <sighs> it's part of the problems of recording. So, we're going to do the Ascantha plotline, which took me an hour and a half last time, because there was a lot of running around in circles and stuff like that. Should be able to do it in an hour this time, so I'm really only going to have two Dragon Quest parts. It's not what I wanted. Um, fuck, I'm trying to find what that area where there was a mini metal. Um, yeah... Yeah. It just, it, ugh, it's, it's whenever... I don't know why, but I always get punished whenever I try to be ambitious. I'm just like, oh, I'll record multiple videos this time. Blah, blah, blah. Look at me. I'll get on top of things. Uh, and then every time I do that, a game captures like, nah, but you shouldn't get too far ahead of ourselves, should we? Um, damn it. the fuck is it? Um, nope. Knock me pot's done. I don't care. I don't know what I was putting in the alchemy pot, but it's not worth it. <clears throat> so mad at myself. Great. <sighs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna return. It's I like I know I'm not gonna use the save, so what's the point? Because I'm not gonna re I'm not gonna replay the next part over again. Uh, I am very much um, what's the word for it? Um discouraged. But yeah, here we are. Part, um, 9, 10. One of those. Uh, I'm looking for an offer. It's gotta be in this one. It was in a cupboard. And I remember, because I made a joke where it's like, ah, two cupboards together, and there's definitely a mini metal here. And it's in this one. <clears throat> yep. And I talked about how, um, you know, it's like, I have like a pretty good sense of where the mini metals are going to be. I don't know exactly where they are, so I'm not going to, like, I don't know where all, like, 112 or how many of them there are. I don't know all of those, but I, like, I have a good enough sense where I'll be able to find probably half of them without looking at a guide. Uh, it's most unusual for us to have visitors here. Welcome to Ascantha. Regrettably, you will find us in mourning for our late queens. The king is presently unavailable. I'm afraid I must request that you leave. Alright, well, I'm not going to do that because I'm the main hero. I'm the protagonist. Like, nobody tells me to leave. Let's, let's be real here. <clears throat> but if you go to the top... Cutscene will trigger. Are you feeling all right, Your Majesty? It's me, Emma. I see you haven't eaten any of the lunch I brought you, Your Majesty. I'll be sure to bring you your favorite for supper. Please, Your Majesty. Please answer me. I just want to make sure you're all right. 
Very well. We leave you in peace. Excuse me. And she just walks right by me. Like, it's completely normal for someone to be, like, on the top of the castle. <clears throat> so that was Emmer. Um, Emmer, as she says with her accent. Um, I don't know what kind of accent that is. I spent a good half an hour. So this is why it's... That's why I hate when I lose recordings. Because I spent a good half an hour trying to figure out where I knew her accent from. And I now know the answer because I finally remembered. Uh, it's, she sounds like Lifa from the Viva Pinata games, where you like start off and she's like the first person you talk to. But that's not a good joke anymore. <sighs> I hope people enjoy the anger, the wrath, if you will, as much as they do like regular good old content. He's hardly eating a thing either. And I could hear him weeping all through the night yesterday. He was such a benevolent and wise king when the queen was still alive. I'm terribly sorry I'm of so little use to him. I see. So it continues. It must be difficult for you, Emma. But I need you to keep trying. If the king cannot recover from this, the country will fall apart. I just don't know what to suggest. Right, so this has been happening for two years, which is the kind of span that only happens in RPG. I don't know if you can probably learn that if you talk to the townspeople, I don't remember. It's not a spoiler. But uh this has been happening for two years, and he says, Oh, I don't I don't know if the kingdom can hold out if he keeps like this. But it probably can, because he's been doing this for two fucking years. That's a long time in king time. So it just it's hard to take it seriously. It's like, oh man, what if things uh go wrong? Then you'll be fine. Like you have. Like are you fighting wars? Like what is a, what does the king really need to do here? <laughs> like they're also they're very vague on purpose about it, but I don't know, that's just my issue with this whole plot line. I like this plot line, but it's just my issue with it. Ah, hello there. Do you seek an audience with the King of Ascanther? Uh, Emmer, I think you, you're confused. That that word says Ascantha, but you said Ascanther, which is, that's not how that's spelled. There's no E-R. I don't, I, do you... Can you read? I'm afraid His Majesty has been unavailable to visitors since the period of mourning for the late Queen began. Two years ago. He comes down to the Royal Suite every night, but I doubt that he'll grant you an audience. I realize that that must seem strange to you, but if you return after dark, you'll see for yourselves. So, Emmer rearises. That, that sounds a little weird. I don't... What accent is this? Like... Anyway, uh, so, come back at, uh, dark. You know. We'll see a little bit of him, but not much. And then, um, we have to talk to Emma again, and then she'll send us to go find our grandmother, who, believe it or not, we've already met. Um, and then she'll tell you where to go from there. And, luckily, I know the way to the secret dungeon this time, so... It won't be as difficult, but, um... I can probably finish this in one part. I don't know. It just makes me sad. I was going to buy a short bow for Angelo, but there's no reason now. I, I, I ended up buying one for him in the other file. So, that's out the window now. <clears throat> I think I bought it for him before I went um, before I went to the dungeon this time, too. So, he's just going to flail around with his rapier. Uh, right, what am I doing? I'm trying to sleep until night. I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, it's, it's going to be a jump. No, never mind. Um... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I will do this again. Um, someone recommended this to me like two parts ago, and I just didn't listen for some reason. Or just like, keep, I kept forgetting to do it. But uh, you can go into the tactics menu. Oh, I didn't realize the slime mites can cast heal. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, you can you can set tactics for your party members, which is what Dragon Quest IX does automatically. Like, you can't control your party members. Uh, you can only control the main character. I, actually, is that true? I think so. I don't know. It's been a while since I played nine. I think, I think I beat nine when I was like originally playing Digital World DS, which has had to have been a couple years ago now. Um, oh, it psyched itself up. That's a good thing to do when you're the last one alive. You're definitely gonna live to hit me with that psyched up attack. Um, but no, it's a good, um, it's a good time saver. Like I know mashing the X button is great and all, but it's not super effective. 
uh, are super efficient. You literally can't say the term super effective anymore because of fucking Pokemon. Um, okay, uh, so we got a miscellaneous tactics. Yangus is now going to be on fight wisely, fight wisely, and fight wisely. They're all on fight wisely. I could put Yangus on get psyched up. I'm going to do that because this is not a real part. This is like a... <laughs> it is, but because I don't like have to do this. I want to see what it's like, because I, if you do, um, if you do fight all out or fight with all your might or whatever that one is, then they'll just only use physical attacks, which is the same as mashing X. Um, if you do fight wisely, then they'll fight like, I know it sounds dumb, they'll fight wisely. Like they'll, uh, they'll use like spells when needed. They'll attack normally when needed. Um, so it works out pretty well. I, I tend to like that one the best. There's the one focus on healing, which doesn't really seem. At this point in time, it's not super um, helpful because you need all the damage you can get at this point. Like, my healers also need the DPS at this point. Like, once we get into the later game, when, like, Yangus and the hero can probably take on uh, the whole, like, enemies themselves, then it becomes more viable. But for now, I mean, I need, I need all hands on deck. Um, let me see. So, go back into uh, to the castle. Talk to the king. He's not voiced yet. <laughs> I think it's funny that he, until he's uh, cured, you don't actually get to hear his voice. Um, which is weird that they didn't just voice this part. So he could, he, could, he could be talking sadly like this. And it could have carry weight. Because it would show you and you could hear the emotion in his voice. Which, I mean, you do later. So it's it's weird. It's one of those weird, like, pseudo, like half voice acted games and stuff like that. But yeah, talk to him. Hey, Kingy. Oh, my... Martha, Amelia, or whatever your name is, I can still smell the scent of your essence <sighs> on this chair. Why? Why did you have to go to the heaven and leave me all alone, my dear Sasha? I was close. It's been two long years. Time stopped me when you left. I'm sure my heart died with you. So one more time, even in my dreams. If only I could see you one more time. Nope. Sorry. You're going to have to move on. There's definitely no magic way we can make you see her again. And that's that. So Emmer comes back, tells you what to do, then you gotta go to her grandmother's. Oh! Did you meet with His Majesty in the Royal Suite? I must explain. The King is refusing to speak with anyone at present. Please forgive him if he caused offense. You see... He's never been quite the same since Queen Sasha died two years ago. Emmer, uh, I'm going to stop you again. Uh, Sasha? Uh, does, does any word ending with an A turn to ER? I'm not familiar with that dialect, and someone will tell me what it is in the comments. Half of you are fucking UK viewers, or European viewers in general. You can tell me what kind of specific accent this is, or you can be like, I've never heard this fucking accent in my life. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Or, as you would say, I don't know what they're on about. If only it were possible to meet with those who've passed away. Oh, it would mean the world to the king if he could see his queen once more. Nope. Impossible. So, uh, we gotta move on. It was nice meeting you. You know, my grandmother used to tell me lots of stories when I was small. Lots of very strange stories. I'm sure there was one about a way to make any wish come true. No, oh, it's no good though. I, I just can't remember it. I'm sure she'd be happy to tell me if I went to see her, but I'm so busy with work here at the castle. <laughs> I remember this part now. So, <laughs> normally, the way this is supposed to play out is it's supposed to sound like I'm just, you know, I really can't get to see my grandmother, or I really can't get to see this person. Is there any way you can go instead? But she so heavily hints at it without outright asking me that it's really, really, it sounds more like, oh, yeah, oh, I would, I would go see my grandmother, but I'm, I'm just so busy. Ah, I just got a lot going on right now. Uh, oh, I'd really want to see her to help the king. Oh, but I just can't. Oh, uh, you know, uh, mm, it's, you know, it's real busy being a maid around here. Uh, you know, the king's been in mourning for two years. He's not holding parties or anything. 
and only so much cleaning duties and maidly things I can do. But ah, uh, it's I'm just I'm so swamped right now. Uh, I can check. I, oh, I really love my grandmother. So it would be such a treat to see her, but oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, no, it's just, it's so rough. Uh, 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 it's just you know, it really stinks that I, if I could go to my grandmother, located in this exact position, who's gonna lead you this exact thing? I, if, if only. Oh, but I can't. Uh, uh, how much longer is Nick gonna do this joke? Oh, about 20 more seconds. I just really can't make it out of scene like her. I'm done. Okay. You get it. I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. I'd like you to go and see my grandmother. She lives in a house west of here, next to a bridge. Could you ask her to tell you the old story about how to make wishes come true? Maybe it's just a fairy tale, but if there's any chance it might be true, then I have to try and help the king. I wish I could go and ask her myself, but... There's so much to do here at the castle, and I, I can't leave him on his own. Oh, you, oh, you know, he just, I, he needs me so much. Just, uh... I'm really counting on your help. My grandmother lives west of Ascanther, in a house next to a bridge. I pray at church every day that the king will be happy again. Please, help me to help him. Strangely enough, if you go and try and find uh, Emmer in the castle, you will not find her. Probably because she's so busy, uh, you just can't talk to her. You probably could find her, I just haven't looked. Um, so I, <laughs> last part, I tried to go to the top of the tower and zoom uh, to the Riverside Chapel, because it's obviously what she's talking about, the one next to the Riverside Chapel. But uh, it, it blocks you, and whenever it blocks you from zooming out of a town, it's because Trode is waiting outside and he needs to have a cutscene with you. Uh, so we are going to have a cutscene with... Trude! Oh, oh no! Nope, it's gonna turn into Kermit voice. It's, that's the only voice I can fucking do. Hmm. I see. Hmm. I see. Magnificent! What a dutiful maid! Worrying about her master so. I am impressed. A faithful retainer like her is a most precious treasure to a king. And you say she's about the same age as my dear Medea? Very well. Now this is an order. I want you to help this maid with her request. I beg your pardon? A detour? Well, if you get onto it quickly, it won't be a problem, will it? Off we go. We must lend a hand to this delightful maid of yours. I love Trode. <laughs> yeah, so Trode's kind of kind of the nail on the head. It's like, uh, don't we have more important things to do? But he's just kind of like, nah, we, we gotta do this. It, trust me, it's important. Um, that's basically what that amounted to. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, interestingly enough, this will come back. Um, I don't think you, I don't think you're allowed to progress until, uh, no, that's right. So, something at the end of this storyline triggers where your next destination is, and that's kind of how the plot moves forward. Um, but yeah, Emmer's grandmother is uh, in this house over here. Oh, excuse me. My breakfast of uh, two-day-old donuts and Mountain Dew was uh, not, you know, not going down quietly. I don't know why. Alright, so we got, uh, are you Emmer's father? Have you had any chance to come here looking for the mysterious legendary peak? I found a strange old ruin at the top of the big hill upstream, but it was a bit of a letdown, really. It was just a crumbling old wall, nothing more, so I came straight back down again. All the trouble I went to, climbing up there and worrying about that there might be a monster waiting for me around every corner. What a waste of time. Uh, if I know anything about flags, then that's definitely... He's saying it's not going to be a waste of time for us, because we're the heroes. <clears throat> I meant to talk to the old guy, but I'm talking to this dude again. Oh my god, why? <laughs> Nurse Jenny, please, Stop. <laughs> I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to heal my Pokemon. I'm having PTSD. Uh. Here we go. If you go around the back of the house and follow the river downstream a while, you'll come to a path down to the embankment. Once you're down there, turn around and head upstream. They say there's a cave somewhere over in that direction. You are on, these parts don't go in their mind. Apparently there's nothing on the other side of the cave but a boring old hill with a nice view. So, I don't know if you can get to the hill that's going to take us to. Hello, cat. Yes, yes. Don't, don't. Aw. Also, how does this bed work? 
All right, it's just a, it's straw. I get that, but are the three of them gonna sleep like right next to each other? Do they only have one sheet? Like, why couldn't you just take some of the straw and put it somewhere else? Like, what the fuck? Weird ass house. Maybe it's like um, in Brick and Morty with um, Rick's dad's uh, parents, where they just have a relationship with another man. Yes, that's right. Emma's my granddaughter. I said Emma. Damn it, Emma. I'm getting on a bit now, you see. So I know all about the old Iskander folk tales. Let's see an old story about making wishes come true. That must be the story of that strange hill upstream of here. It said that if you go there on the night of a full moon and wait quietly all night, a door to another world will open. It's probably just a silly old fairy, fairy tale, though. I'm afraid I can't tell you whether it's true or not. It gets so cold and spooky up there, you see. I've never known anyone willing to stay the whole night to find out. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know why I made her laugh like Susano and uh, Okami. Wah, ah, ah, ah. But um, I thought it'd be funny. So, yeah, it, you don't have to worry about waiting till day or night to uh, go to this place. They do a pretty good job. But um, if you run around the back, and you'll start heading downstream. <clears throat> Morphean mushrooms and giant moths. Um, these look like they're going to take a while. <sighs> or not. I guess Jessica can just give them the business. <clears throat> so at this current point in time... Angela doesn't have any uh, skills whatsoever except for his physical attack, which makes him um, pretty annoying. Oh wow, he actually used Parallax. Damn! That was a cool attack. I don't think I've ever seen him cast that. This is what I get for doing the psych up one. It means he's going to use all his strongest moves, I think. Um, yeah, so what do I have to do? I vaguely talked about it in the Spiral Part I just recorded, but um, I... What was I gonna say? I started, um... I went back to Sly 3 for a little bit. I just did, I finished up, uh, Chapter 1. And, uh... <clears throat> I finished up Chapter 1 in that game, and so now I could move on to the League like, Australia part. I, um... I stopped playing it for a while, because I was just... It was getting so... After playing Jack 2... Or Sly 2 for so long, it just... It dragged on for so long. Um... I was just kind of like, eh... Um... Oh, I learned Metal Slash for all those Metal Slimes we're about to encounter. There are no metal slimes, that's the joke. Um, she learned bang, that's good. Um, let's throw staves up, because that's where she learns new spells. Um, chief of Staff learns Magic Barrier. I think Magic Barrier is, um, I think it's like Shell, like in Final Fantasy, where it just reduces magic damage. I know um, the Reflect spell is called Bounce. They're all like vaguely similar to Final Fantasy spells, so you can usually tell what they do. Um, King Kelp, one of my favorite monsters, just so amazing in every way. Um, I was gonna say, so I started playing Sly Three. I don't know. If, I'm just gonna. I basically go back to it every so often. Like I play a little bit at a time. Uh, it's not my favorite Sly. Uh, I thought two. Oh, it might be. I don't know. I think Sly One is actually my favorite now because of how like condensed it is. Like the fact that you can beat it in I don't know three and a half hours. Um, I like that a lot more about it. Um, Sly Two is good. It just it drags on at certain points, and if you if you don't play it all at once, it's an awful, awful game. Check my Let's Play on that for uh, more reference. <laughs> um, so Sly Three is similar to Sly Two. I feel like. Oh shit! There actually were metal slimes down here. I did not fight these last time I came here. Oh, I feel uh, I feel the fool. So Metal Slash basically guarantees a hit on um on a Metal Slime. Like normally, you know. So that's or it can do up to two, which is pretty cool. Normally, only physical attacks work. So Yangus, why on earth would you psych up? Besides being part of the uh, psych up tactic. Oh, he's gonna run away. No, oh, cool. I'll probably kill Metal Slime A. But, um... Oh, wow. Or you can just get a critical hit. That works, too. Oh, now that XP we got that I can't use. Um... <clears throat> learn Tingle, which is, like, the uh, healing thing. I'm just gonna put it in swords. I put it in bows in his, uh... in the other file, but... I don't know. Um... Yeah, so, uh, other than Sly, I started playing, um... Zero Time Dilemma, which I picked up on Black Friday. Uh, which is the third in the Zero Escape series, which is, it starts with 999, nine, nine, nine doors, nine people, nine something else. I, I didn't play it. Um, it's the game, uh, it came out on 
I think regular DS. Um, and I always saw it because it was the first game. Whenever I would like, I came out back when I was working at GameStop, and uh, I always knew it because whenever I um, whenever I would have to like uh, organize, reorganize the shelves, like put everything back in alphabetical order and stuff like that. Nine 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 was the easiest because it was all the way at the top left. Um, but yeah, so I never played that one. But then uh, Zero Escape: Virtue's Last Reward uh, came out on PlayStation Plus. God, probably like four or five years ago now. Um, and it was for Vita, and I had just gotten a Vita, um, and I didn't have that many games for it, so I just downloaded it just, you know, just in case. Um, ooh, red mold, nice. You can combine that with cheese to make, uh, spicy cheese. I still haven't used the spicy cheese. I should do that this part. Um, yeah, uh, actually, I think I did use the spicy cheese. Uh, <clears throat> um, all right, let's combine that. With red mold. Uh, nope, that's it. But yeah, uh, so I started playing, so that was, so Virtue's Last Reward. It's a Vita game. It's also on, I think they're on PC now too. They're on, I think they added them to Steam along with the Danganronpa games. Um, I really, 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 really enjoyed Virtue's Last Reward to the point where it might be one of my top five games of all time. Uh, <clears throat> like, it was that good, um, and it's it's really not a complicated game. It's mostly a visual novel with um, like escape the room scenarios, where it's like you know you have to go around picking up objects, combine them, and shit like that. Which to me is like old school gaming, like I ended up gaming before my time, which was shit like you know you have to pick stuff up, combine it, and crap like that. That's another thing. In Fight Wisely, Jessica will cast Snooze, which I never would do on my own, because in my head, in my like, in my mind, it's a waste of time to cast it. But um, whenever she casts it, I'm always like, oh, yeah, that's good, yeah. Um, but yeah, so Virtue's Less Reward, amazing game, really, really liked it, even without playing 999. I've since gone back and like read summaries of, uh, uh, of 999's like, plot so they can like catch up. Um, so now, so Zero Time Dilemma is the third in the series. I think final too. Um, and I bought it on Black Friday. I like I'd wanted it for a while, but I was waiting until it went on sale at least once. Uh, and, and actually, yeah, I think I was gonna pick it up on Black Friday no matter what because they had that like 10% off coupon. It just happened to go on sale for like $13 less, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I finally started playing that. So, like it's been sitting on my Vita that entire time. Like I bought it Black Friday, so like the end of November. Finally started playing it on New Year's Eve, and I get like <laughs> 10 minutes into the game, and they tell you that the game takes place on New Year's Eve, and I was just like, wait, what? I just so happened to start playing it on New Year's Eve, out of nowhere, and it takes place on New Year's Eve, I'm like, this is creepy as shit. <laughs> um, it, it's already like a weird, not weird, but um, it's already the type of game that, uh, you know, there's death and shit and stuff like that. Oh, I learned Nose for Treasure, nice. Um, so like, for weird like shit to line up, like you playing, starting it on the date that it actually takes place, it's like I don't need this to become any more involved than this. So, if you recall, it was the middle of the night when we went into that cave, and now it is sunset. Um, the reason it does this is that it auto automatically corrects the time of day for you. It's like time will not pass normally while you're in this part, so that this way when you reach the top it's nighttime, which is really, 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 really cool. I give this game immense props for uh, making it so you don't have to uh, wait the whole night or time it so that you get to the top at like uh, the right time. Like this is what I was, it's, I keep bringing it up and I'm gonna keep bringing it up, but this is what I was talking about when I say stuff like, it's the perfect mix of like, it's, it's, it's like right on the cusp of like half of the game is really advanced, like it starts doing like innovative stuff and half of it is like stuff that we don't really do anymore. Like this is the kind of thing that's like really advanced. Like. Having the time and like come here at night and basically what if you, if you like get to the top during the middle of the day and having to wait the rest of the time, that's not fun for gameplay. Like that's just annoying. Um, so I appreciate it when games will like take the time to like make it so you don't have to do that. Or it's just like nah. I mean you wanna, um, you wanna, you just wanna get here and just be done with it. So I really really appreciate stuff like that. Um, was I saying though? So zero, uh, zero time dilemma. I'm getting the names confused in my head. It's part of the Zero Escape series, but um, 
Really, really, really fun game. Um, so far. Actually, I can't judge it that much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reel that back in a little bit. I've probably, I've said I've played four hours, which has been between like two nights at uh, work. I'm really enjoying it. I really am. Uh, I don't know how it ends yet. But what I love about the Zero Escape series is that <laughs> it's kind of the same thing I like about Danganronpa, which I think it's made by the same people. Um, if not, it's published by the same people. Um, is that... <laughs> so, like, a lot of it is, like, mystery stuff. The game will, like, throw... Like, the characters will start, like, proposing theories that you yourself are also thinking. So it's like... It doesn't make you think you're smart for think Like, um... I don't have a good example, but, it, like... There's some games where it's like, you can kind of see a plot twist coming. And the game doesn't address it. Also, see how it's nighttime now. Like, there's some games where... Oh, there's the full moon rising. Oh, you actually do have to wait for the full moon. Uh, but watch, you'll see the shadows slowly grow. Which is really cool. Uh, also, how convenient that it's a full moon when we need it to be a full moon. But, uh, yeah. Like, in some games, like, uh, there'll be a twist you can see coming and the game won't address it. In this game... If there's a possibility for a twist, like if you can start, if you start to think you're getting ahead of the game, and being like, oh, well, it's going to be, it's, this is probably going to happen. One of the characters will more than likely say, well, this is probably going to happen. And then whether it doesn't not, doesn't matter. Like the game is always like a step ahead of you, like, which I really, really like, because that is tough to do to me um, in this day and age. Like I've played a lot of games. I've seen a lot of game tropes and stuff like that. And it's, it's just tough to like, surprise me or tough for something for the game to like do something on me like um that was one of my biggest problems with last of us like a lot of the plot stuff in last of us um i thought didn't quite surprise me like it did everyone else or i'm just like yeah that's obviously what was gonna happen like they were setting it up like they were leaving breadcrumbs the whole time um but zero escape the zero escape series has been very very good about um always surprising me, which is very difficult to do. I really appreciate it. <sighs> so, this is the top of the hill that they were all talking about, and this dude said there was nothing up here, but when the shadow of this uh, windowsill hits the wall perfectly and doesn't continue to grow bigger, because the moon has decided to stop moving for us, which is very convenient, um, this happens. That's um, that's not how walls work. I uh, I don't think that's a thing. But alrighty then. <sighs> so this is a really cool area, and uh, last time I didn't figure out how to look up until after, but I wanted to see where the water was coming from. Okay, different phase of the moon. Got it. This is inverted, which is why I'm controlling it weird. I don't know why they inverted the camera like first-person mode. Oh, God, I hate this. Um. Push, push left to turn right. Push right to turn left. Push down to... No, down and upward. Fine. Okay. Oh, God. Why? Stop reverting. Okay. This is a cool area. Um, I like it. <clears throat> uh, weird. Out of place. But cool. I like the music in here. Very calm. Let's see, we don't get to see how that rock door opens. Ishmari, keeper of the Moon Shadow Land. Welcome to my realm. So this is not evil Seymour. Um also, I really, really think it's cool, like, that the instruments are all playing themselves, even, and the, the drums, especially, because they have those, like, little bouncing things. This is a really, really cool design. Also, are we underwater? We are. That's cool. I don't know how that happens. Alright, we got the spinning globe, naturally. More harps, more drums. It's a cool, uh, cool area in, in general. One that we go to, like, twice. Alright. It's weird that I'm the same height as him. I feel like Ishmari should be taller than me. 
Many moons have waxed and waned since human foot last trod this earth. Weary travelers, I welcome you now to the land of the moon shadow. Enlighten me. What desire opened the moon shadow window on this night? No words. Your shoes can tell the tale. Dirty hippie is making my shoes glow. I don't like this. So, Pavan longs to be reunited with his dearly beloved Sasha. Uh, I believe her name is Sasha. You stand amazed, mouths agape in wonderment. Ah, forgive me. I have yet to uncloud your eyes. Children of the light of day, do you believe that memories are yours alone? Your clothes, houses, tables, and chairs. The sky, the land. They too remember each passing day. No. No, they don't. Silently, they sleep in a dream world of memory. <sighs> the moon's light may give uh, even my least favorite types of characters. Dreams. Like, I like him I when he's not talking about this, this hippie the shit. From her eternal sleep. But perhaps I can end your friend's waking nightmare. Lead me to the castle. Lead me to the scene of Pavan's misery. Alright, so this is another thing another cool thing that the game does, which is uh more of a modern gaming type thing. I know I know some games have done this before, like I know um, Legend of Zelda sort of does it. Also, is he floating? Holy shit, he is. That is bonkers. Um, I know Legend of Zelda does this sometimes, but uh, and most like dungeon crawling games do it, but not all of them do it. So I appreciate when, when it's done. It's like return to the normal world. Oh, we must be back on top of the hill, surely. No, no. We're at the bottom of Pavad's castle. Lead me to the castle. We're here, Ishmari. We're already in the castle. Lead me to the scene of his misery. This is nothing to report. Oh, so he puts the guards to sleep. Okay, that answers that. I didn't see that guard the first time I came back. But there was another guard I saw. <laughs> um, which one is it? It's not here yet. Hold on. Um, I saw... This one, blocking the stairs. <laughs> ah, phew. Which I think is supposed to sound like... As he's, like, sleeping, I guess? I don't know. I can't make that noise. But I was like, okay, so he's clearly blocking the stairs so that for the next cutscene, I come up the right stairs. Like, I know why games do things like this. Oh, grieving soul. May the moon's rays trace the scenes enacted here long ago. you so. These two years I've thought of nothing but you. Ever since you passed away. <laughs> You're not still fretting about this morning's missive, are you? You mustn't. You made the right decision. You're always so lenient with people. 
But sometimes you need to be firm, too. That's a king's duty. Everybody believes in you. You must stand tall and proud. Ascantha is your country. Oh, yes. I have news. The innkeeper's dog has had a puppy. He wants us to think of a name. Is that... me? Yes. I remember this. It was the spring before last. So, this is a memory from the past? <laughs> a puppy, you say? What do you think? No doubt you've already thought of a good name for it. <laughs> it's a secret. Why? If you've thought of a name, then I'm sure it's splendid. Tell me. Surely you have a suggestion too. A name for this puppy. But I'm sure yours is... Shush, Nalpavan. I think any name you came up with would be simply perfect. My dear king, you're a wise and kind man. You should follow your own instincts. <laughs> I was planning to use the name you thought of. That's all I've decided. Yes, she was always like that, always giving me so much encouragement. Sasha, why? <laughs> Sasha, why are you always so strong? Because my mother gives me strength. Your mother? But she passed away years ago. I never told you, but I was very timid as a child, so weak and afraid. And every day, my mother would try hard to encourage me. When she died, I was so sad and lonely. But then I realized, if I went back to my old, weak self, I would have nothing left of my mother at all. It would be just as if she had never existed. I realized I had to be strong, that I must remember her words of encouragement and everything she taught me. That way, she'll live on inside me for always, forever. Sasha, you're right. I should be more like you. <laughs> Shall we go out onto the terrace? The weather's so nice today. It would be lovely to enjoy the breeze together. stretches before us as far as the eye can see. Oh, Ascantha is so beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, Sasha. So beautiful. My darling king, for people to live their lives happily, you must be strong. I remember. Everything you ever told me lives on inside my heart. Forgive me, Sasha. I finally opened my eyes. I'm sorry for being so sad and lonely. At last, I finally awoken from my long and terrible nightmare. So this is, like, this is why I like Dragon Quest VIII, is, like, I may not sound like it now, because I've already seen this. 
but when I was watching this the last time, I was like, wow, this is really good writing. This is a really good story. Like, I like that it makes you care about these tiny little instances and stuff like that. Like, I've been here for like 45 minutes, and I was just like, no, I, I'm glad he got his happiness. And I'm glad they didn't really make it, because showing the whole dead, lost one thing can be a slippery slope, because it can easily... You can always just be like, well, how does this not turn into like a Harry Potter in the mirror situation where it's like all they want to do is see their dead loved one now. And it's like that's their new thing. But they, I think Never they did this pretty well. Will I forget the things Sasha told me? It felt like a dream. But I believe in what I saw. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to you and Emma, I've finally woken up from an unbearable nightmare. Now, I can be a proper king to my people again. I cannot thank you enough. If there is ever anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. I swear, I will do anything in my power to repay you. Anything at all I can do to help. Farewell, my friends. May fortune ride with you on your continuing journey. I hope we will meet again soon. I love the way Yang is just pegging out. Um, yeah, so, you know, nothing wrong with uh, stopping by some places occasionally. Is she looking at me? That's weird. I'm trying to think. No, she's just staring off in that general direction. Okay. Um, she's thinking, I can't believe I'm traveling with this fuck. And then Angelo's sipping this empty glass. <laughs> I think it is an empty glass. There's not nearly enough wine in there for you to... It's, I don't... Whatever, Angelo. You do your thing. You do you. Um, so yeah, I don't, you don't see Emma. I don't know what happened to her. Uh, I don't even know, does she even know that the king's better? So yeah, you have to walk out of town now, and that'll trigger the next, um, the next pot, the next, uh, section. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I just, I enjoyed it. It was good, good shit. Hockey pot is ready. Uh, I will not bother checking it. Just that, that, cause fuck you. Um, I will... Oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. I did that when I first came here. Um... Is this lady looking for a ring yet? In a long time since we've been able to stand out in the sunshine shedding like this. It's great to be able to have a good old chin wag again. What the fuck is a chin wag? Oh, I gotta get out of this place. Their accents are weird, their words are weird. I don't... I don't like this. Learn English if you're gonna live in your own country and have your own values and shit. It's all right for some, isn't it? No doubt King Pavan treated you to plenty of fine food and drink, you lucky toads. The princess and I have been waiting, you know, stuck here outside town. And the deer isn't much for conversation these days, hmm? I know how you feel, Granddad. If only you weren't so, uh, green, eh? Maybe we could get you into town, and you could have a drink or something. I ain't exactly a looker myself. I know what it's like to be discriminated against. So I had this problem last time. <laughs> Discriminated. <laughs> Which is not a word. Um, but it sort of sounds like a cockney version of discriminated. But it's like, it's not that far from the real spelling. It's just, it's just enough for me to be like, wait a minute. Like, I know what. I'm fine with what. And me, a looker, myself. But disc discriminated is where I draw the line. I don't know, I don't know why. But that's the reason. For some, for some reason, that bothers me more. Wake up. I've got an idea. The town I used to live in ain't too far south of here. How about we head off down there, right? Eh? Sure, Pickham ain't no rose garden, but it's in the middle of nowhere, right? Even a strange old geezer like him would fit in, no problem. Old granddaddy will be able to get himself a drink. And we might get a clue about where that dull Magus has got to and all. There's a bloke there who knows everything about everything. We call him Brains. He's a mate of mine. He'll know something, dead sir. 
See? Two birds with one stone, eh? I ain't just a pretty face. Come on, let's get going south. Pick them, here we come. So, um, you may be asking yourself, man, that king seemed really, really happy to, you know, that he was able to see his loved one and whatnot. I'll bet he probably would have let Trode come to that banquet. And you'd be right, he probably would have. But they needed a reason for Yangus to think of where to go next. Um, so <laughs> that's basically the entire thing. Uh, so Pickham is south. You actually have to go um, through the woods that way. Uh, which, I'll, you know, it's I ended the part here last time, which is good because this is about 50 minutes. I did it 40 minutes shorter than I did last time. Um, but yeah, uh, I actually didn't go into Pickham because the monster arena is on the way, and then it's a whole bit about that. Um, but I think the next, the start of the next part was where I was going to go into Pickham, I think. Or I might have like, I might have just gone in just to save. I think that's what I did. So. Um, yeah, tune in for the journey onward next time, and I look forward to doing more Dragon Quest. It's still really fun. Even when I have to do parts again, it's still fun. So thank you guys, and we'll get back on track 